In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited skill points while being AFK. I'm then going to show you how to convert these skill points into super wheel spins with a method that does not require using the auction house and risking buying a car that has already been used up. So be sure to watch this video all the way through and comment down below if you have any questions regarding this method and I'll be sure to reply. And just so you guys know, the race I will be showing you doesn't have any issues with the skill chain not working when you're AFK. So this is a perfect method for those of you on console who don't have access to a macro. Before we get into that though, I do want to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Aurora Resupply. This is the number one supplier of Forza Horizon 5 credits. They have a variety of options to choose from, starting with 10 million credits for only $6, all the way up to 999 million credits for $90. Make sure to use my code Eradicate in the checkout for 5% off your purchase. So first things first, go ahead and make sure you have the Harira Pagani Forza Edition. And you're going to want to use this tune as it is the best for the race event I'll be showing you in the video. Next, go to your car mastery and upgrade the same skills I have here. And basically, you're going to want to upgrade everything except for this one. This perk allows your car's skill chain to end 1.5 times later than normal. But for whatever reason, after the update, this will mess up your AFK race. So make sure that you don't have that one on. Now once that's all taken care of, you can go to Event Lab, Event Blueprints, and then enter this share code I am here. This is going to show you an AFK race, and you're going to want to start the event, and then go into Difficulty and Settings, and copy the settings I have on screen now. So after the update, it seems every 10 minutes, if the game has detected you've been AFK, and only holding down the gas, then it's going to stop building your skill chain. However, this particular blueprint has no issues, and I tested it today to be sure, and it worked perfectly fine for me. Now you guys can end the race at any time by pressing the e-brake and you can also hit the rewind button to increase the amount of laps in your race. You can expect to get around 200 skill points for every hour of this race, as well as a ton of XP, levels, regular wheel spins, and credits. I also just want to quickly mention that down below I will have some other cars that are actually going to work for this race that were kindly provided from the creator of this blueprint. And those do include the tune codes so that you guys can get the proper tune that will work with this race. It's also important to note that during this AFK race, all you need to do is hold down the gas by wrapping a rubber band around your controller or putting a weight on your keyboard. If you're on PC, a macro will also work, but it is not necessary for this race. I'm now going to show you how to turn the skill points you earn during the race into super wheel spins. And now that we have some skill points, we can begin turning them into super wheel spins by purchasing the MG, which is a car pass car that can be obtained by having the car pass or purchasing it individually for about $3. So after spending the real life money to unlock access to this car, you can use your in-game credits to buy it for 50 grand, and then you can spend 19 skill points to get a regular wheel spin and a super wheel spin, as well as a credit boost of 75 grand, which pays off the 50 grand you need to get an MG, plus gives you a 25 grand profit. In addition to this, I'm gonna be giving this car to some of you guys. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below, and I'll pay the three or four dollars so that you guys don't have to. Now as far as the method goes, you're going to want to purchase the Jeep Rubicon for 50,000 credits and then go to Car Mastery and upgrade the skills in the path I am here, spending 60 skill points to get the Deberti Wrangler. You can then get inside this car and go to Car Mastery and upgrade the skills in the path I am here, spending 25 skill points to get a super wheel spin. Now basically this method is significantly more expensive skill point wise. It's going to cost you 50,000 credits and 85 skill points per super wheel spin, but I find it to be more efficient as it doesn't cost much credits and you're guaranteed a super wheel spin opposed to buying a car from the auction house that at this point almost always has a skill tree already upgraded. In addition to this, you can sell this car on the auction house when you're done and end up with around 500,000 credits, which is a good addition to the rewards you will get from the wheel spins. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video before you go and with all that being said my name is of course eradicate and i'll see you in the next video peace